alaikum. Um, the situation in Burma hits pretty close to home for, my, for me because my mother's roots can be traced back to Burma. And to think, it could have been me as a child grow, growing up in Burma. I could have been a youth homeless because of my faith. I could have been a youth raped because of my faith. I could have been a youth in Burma who witnessed the death of my entire family simply because of my faith. When many of us were young, our childhood memories consisted of learning how to ride a bike, playing basketball in the neighborhood park, celebrating our birthdays with our friends and family. However, the most important childhood memory of all is looking back is looking back and feeling a sense of security, stability, and freedom. Having a place to call home, this life, is something many of us take for granted, and no one should be robbed of that right. Think of how rejected these innocent children feel. They are no longer welcome in a country they were born and raised in, and what's worse is they can't even flee to neighboring nations to start a new life and, and have the security of a new home. It's sad how quickly humanity forgets their history and continues to carry out these injustices. How can one's faith be the deciding factor of whether a person should be given citizenship, whether they should be able to live in a home they work so hard for, or whether they can even see the next day? In this day and age, after overcoming the Holocaust, the rape of Nan King, Kimmer Rogue, the Rwanda genocide, we should be way past ethnic cleansing. Let's not let history repeat itself. My two-minute speech will not do justice for the situation of the youth in Burma, but just as I have a voice in front of all these people today, I hope that these innocent children of Burma may soon have a voice of their own. Amen.